Good morning, happy summer days, and welcome to the vlog. I'm very excited for today because I think it's gonna be very fun and full of summery vibe things. In about five minutes, I am going to go with my friends to a strawberry patch and pick some strawberries. I'm very excited about that. I'm not sure how many I'm gonna get, but I'm thinking about possibly making some strawberry jam with some of them. Never attempted it, so I think it would be fun to try. It's been on my bucket list for a little bit. And then we want to go to our local farmer's market. So I might get some produce, I'm not sure, just kind of shop around. I'm very excited for the season to do all of the summer things. It is so lovely outside. I think it's like 75 this morning, so very excited to head out and take you guys along with me. Okay, so the farmer's market strawberry picking look today is actually this, it's a dress this red uh, button-down dress and I paired it with this cream colored top and then I have my Pike's Place Market tote bag to bring to Farmer's Market and then I'm wearing it with Berg's totally cannot see that but anyways this outfit's actually pretty much mostly thrifted so I can't link anything but yeah all right I'm going to head downstairs and I think that my friends should be here any minute You guys, I am so stinking excited about my strawberry haul. They are so good. Immaculate, like so sweet, so juicy. Mm. Like I, I forget the difference between fresh picked strawberries and ones that you buy at the grocery store. Like they do not even compare. I really want to make a really small batch of strawberry jam. I don't want to use up too many of them, but I've been wanting to make strawberry jam, like I said, and I'm just gonna do a recipe that's gonna make like a really tiny container. And I want to make a little bit of strawberry shortcake for tonight. I think these will be delicious with some strawberry shortcake. We got a nice, decent pile. We went to farmer's market and it was honestly pretty cleaned out. We went a little bit later since we went strawberry picking. So I didn't end up getting any produce or anything there cause there really wasn't much. But I'm going to go ahead and eat some lunch. On the lunch menu today, I have some leftover ramen. We ate at this really good ramen restaurant last night. I'd never been there. I actually had never tried like true ramen besides like the little packets it's really good i'm excited to finish it up and then i've just been on such a hard-boiled egg kick keegan thinks it's kind of disgusting but nothing hits like a hard-boiled egg with a little bit of salt and pepper and it adds just a little extra protein to my meal and of course some strawberries for literally a dessert because they're so sweet I am currently just chilling in our parking lot, enjoying some sunshine. One thing I'm really looking forward to about our house is having like a yard just to lay out and enjoy the sunshine. But as I was walking around and everything, like I'm really gonna miss this town that we live in. I really love it. And we're literally moving like to the next town over and it's like less than 10 minutes away. But I really enjoy walks here and It'll be fun to get to know a new town and all of the little places there, but yeah, I'm very excited. I'm just going to soak up some sunshine for a little bit longer and then head inside. All right, I am back from the outdoors, feeling very refreshed, and I'm ready to get started on the strawberry jam. Now, I found a recipe that is specifically for small batches, so I'm really hoping to just fit it in like a little small jar. I don't wanna make too much, but I'm very excited to try it out. And plus a little bit of jam really goes a long ways. I will be sure to link this recipe down below. It looks super simple. All there is is strawberry, sugar, and a lemon. Okay, the first thing that I'm gonna do is measure out 
a pound of strawberries. I really cannot picture how much a pound would be. I'm hoping it's not too many. Although, no, it's really not going to be. What am I gonna do with this many strawberries? I can freeze them. And I know they will be amazing in smoothies, but I really just wanna eat them fresh. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to like appreciate the great taste quite as much in a smoothie. Okay, we have about a pound here and now I'm going to wash them. Okay, now to wash them, I'm just gonna pour a splash of vinegar in there and fill the rest of the way up with water. Let it soak for like a couple of minutes. All right, I have just cut all the stems off the strawberries, put them in a saucepan. Now I'm just going to add like one and a half cups of sugar to it and cook it down, bring it to a boil. Next up, I'm just going to zest my lemon and put a little bit of lemon juice in and then let my mixture boil for like 15 minutes to get really like thickened because right now it's very runny and very watery. So hoping to get it condensed down a little bit more. My strawberry jam is now off. It's still pretty runny, but I think that it's supposed to set a little bit as it cools. That's what I'm hoping for at least. But I still have like whole strawberries in there. And so I'm going to use like a potato masher to get it all mashed. But I still want it to be kind of chunky. Oh, Keegan's home. Did you bring me flowers? They're so pretty. Thank you. Okay, ended up making two of these little jars of jam, and then I put just a tiny bit in this container and I'll put it in the freezer. But yeah, I'm going to let it cool and refrigerate for a while and then we will try it. Okay, we have some butter and jelly. Oops, I dropped some. Now it's time for the taste test. Mmm, you can really taste the lemon in it. Mm hmm. What? <laughs> what? Put lemon in it? Yeah. Recipe called for it. Mm. Adds a little tart. Do you like it? Yeah, it's good. It's Average. No, it's really good. I Better think it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Next up, I'm going to get started on making some strawberry shortcake. This vlog is strawberry themed apparently. Okay, so I'm going to work on cleaning up the kitchen, getting everything together, and we're gonna get started on dinner. Um, we're just gonna make some quesadillas with some leftover tri-tip steak, cutting that up, putting it in there, and then we're going to go to our friend's pool and spend the evening there swimming, enjoying the beautiful weather. So I think I'm gonna push making strawberry shortcake off to tomorrow because I still really wanna make it, but I don't think I'm gonna have time to do it tonight. So let's clean up the kitchen. Stranger, his love came and found me the same. In each breath that I breathe, when I wake or I sleep, everything I need is found in you. All in you, everything I need is found in you. Found in Jesus. What 
what is love that the god of the heavens would Good morning happy sunday last night was super fun at the pool and we had like a little bonfire it was fun to just have a chill evening with friends. I'm about to head to Dollar General and grab a couple of things. He and I teach Sunday school and today we are teaching on Jenna and the Whale. And there's like a little game that I wanna get some poster board for if they have it. And I also wanna get some like Swedish fish or goldfish to give them just cause it's kind of like on theme with the story. Fun to give them a little treat. And we're gonna go over to one of our friend's house for lunch afterwards and it was kind of like a sporadic thrown together thing so I'm gonna buy some like cookie dough just to like make cookies for dessert for that that is on the agenda for the first part of the day so I'm going to go ahead and head to Dollar General and then we'll go to church All right, we're back from church. We came home after lunch and just chilled a little bit. And now I'm getting ready to make the strawberry shortcake finally. It sounds so good. I have this recipe that a friend gave me and I will ask her permission to put it in the description and if that's all okay. Um, it'll be down there. It looks like the easiest recipe ever because it's just one that you make in two drop biscuits. And easy is what we're going for, easy and quick, because I'm ready to eat some. Realized I'm out of baking powder, so I'll be back. 